Hey, how's it going, everybody? Um, I was going to make a video uh, yesterday about this, but I was busy and everything, so I'm making it today. Um, and it's actually a video that's a bit more requested than my other ones, but um, I will today be talking about what my favorite games of all time are. And there's not going to be a specific order here, just kind of a general tiers, I guess you can say. Um, and I'll start off with this first tier, which is my favorites, and this is my current favorite of these. Um, but it is, uh, I kind of scoot over a little bit. Uh, Rainbow Six Three Raven Shield. This is what you call an awesome shooter. This is just perfection. And it's an expansion, um, Athena Sword, which adds some cool maps, um, and some guns that I can't go without, so, <laughs> pretty cool. Plays great online, awesome single player. I like the story to it. Um, having the independent state of Croatia as a plot point, that is a very interesting idea for a game like this, but, um, very cool. Uh, just love the maps in this game. Uh, my two favorite being Island Estate, that's just a classic, and uh, the Private Airport. Those are my two favorite games. Let me just say I have the flute song that plays on the TVs in that game, and I have the airport music from uh, the Cayman Airport. Um, I have those on my iPod, so <laughs> pretty cool. Love that game. Perfect. Just love that game. Second, you guys know I have Half-Life, you know I have many versions of Half-Life, too many to count, I've made multiple videos of where my whole dresser, minus the, of course the sound system, is just covered with Half-Life stuff, just, I love this game, I love, love, love this game, this is the absolute, just quintessential PC shooter besides that, um, for modding, better than that, just awesome, 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 and awesome to collect because pretty cool huh and here's the playstation 2 version uh both good versions this has some extras so yeah um just great great i will forever love half-life just awesome awesome next just had have to include another game i've collected uh civilization 3 Civilization 3, to me, is the only true, it is the peak of the Civilization franchise after Civilization 2 being excellent, and, um, after, of course, Civ 4 coming after it being the introduction to the 3D and everything, and being somewhat dumbed down, this is a great middle point to me, this is the in-between of modern and classic Civilization right here, and it, it's my favorite. Um, in particular, the Conquests, the scenarios that came with the Conquest expansion pack. Just absolutely love those. Um, and for a game I will show uh, after I'm done with this tier, it will kind of show why I like them so much. But um, love this game. This is a must-have. Um, you can you can get it on Steam. Whenever there's a Steam sale, this game is only $2. It's $1.99. Best deal in the world. For 2 bucks, man you're insulting like you're just insulting me <laughs> to not pick this game up just do it just you have to do it it's just the best grand strategy not grand strategy but the best strategy game ever the best turn based game ever just uh, 4x whatever you want to say just the best highly recommend it and now for um any of my old school subscribers or old school friends out there um I have to include them. I've loved these games since I was just a little one. Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2. Now, the, for the Xbox, see this is, because I don't really care for the PlayStation 2 version. I don't know, it's just... Everything's kind of hazy. There's fog every, over everything. Uh, it's just... I can I cannot go back to it. I prefer it, of course, on the 360 with the controller, but in, in, and in high def, too. Um, it's awesome, so... Highly recommend these games. Best third-person shooters ever. Just best Star Wars games ever. Best... Just... I don't know how they made these games. It's just a miracle. Such a small studio, such as... Pan like, just Pandemics being so small and everything. They made a masterpiece with this game. They just made... Of course, I prefer this one. Uh, it plays... I think it's a better-made game, and it plays better, but I do like some of the things they did with this game. Um, both of them, very good. I'd highly recommend them. Uh, 
also for PC, uh, very vibrant modding community. Is very this game is actually back online now on Steam. If you get the Steam version of it, you can play online without doing anything, just play it, and that makes me very very happy. So must haves. Now on to my next tier. I get to take a drink. My throat's dry. The thing about doing these videos is it make my it makes my throat dry. Now to continue on with, uh, I'll actually show it first because I said I would. And it's a PC game, Europa Universalis 2. Grand strategy for PC from 1419 to 1820 from the Byzantine Empire and. Um, yeah, to the, from the Byzantine Empire and uh, the Hundred Year War um, to uh, Napoleon and America, the United States. Um, it's just awesome. You can play all that. Um, and there are just so many countries in the game, so, so many things you can do. Uh, recreate the Byzantine Empire. Um, and just, it's a very fun game, or create a, a Baltic Empire as the Teutonic Order, or take over all of Germany, or the Holy Roman Empire as Germany, which is not even a country that exists at any point in the game, but you can create it as a vassal and play as it. Just wild stuff like that. Just oh yeah, And of course you can play it historically, but must have for the PC. Just Once again, another game. This thing will run on almost anything. It runs on my 1999 HP Pavilion 6640Z Tower. So does Civ 3. Now here's a genre that I have enjoyed for a long time, and here's the here's the first one here. Mario Kart DS. Um, best Mario Kart in my opinion. I just love it. Uh, the Wi-Fi on this game was awesome before they shut it down. Um, I really wish it was still up. I I really do. Um, but even with single player and just playing with friends, still a very fun game. Uh, highly recommended. Just this is really just what Mario Kart should have been. Uh, even though, frankly, playing it on 50 CC is a, I can't do it. <laughs> but um, if you play it on a higher setting, it's intense. Just very cool. And of course, turning up the AI or the CPU just difficulty and everything. But no. and here it is, my. Twisted Metal Black, which when I received, this is actually a funny story, um, whenever I received this game, and I didn't play it for like a month, but, well not a month, but like I didn't play it for like two weeks when I got it, but, Twisted Metal Black, just, very cool, car combat, just, grit, just love it, just, that, uh, paint it black by Rolling Stones, um, just, that, it's just an awesome game, um, my character is always sweet tooth because his special is the best, um, at least in my opinion, and of course he moves fast for having such a powerful special. And my favorite map on this is probably the, huh, they're all, they're all cool maps. I like the Highway Loop, I believe it's called. Um, that's my favorite, but highly recommend this game, um, but yeah, and it has a very, the story in it is very interesting to say the least, but um, highly recommend it. Just Lots of fun, uh, and whenever you play it on higher difficulties, um, and it's just even a f just a few other people left, and uh, you're scrounging, you're like low on health, or you have zero lives left, and you're just scrounging for health packs, anything you can find. Yeah, it, in the end, it becomes really intense. So I just love that. It's very cool. And now my total favorite racing game, and it would have to be after those four that I showed there. Um, this would probably be my favorite. Um, Gran Turismo 3, a spec, just perfect racing game, 2001, just my favorite, just awesome game, uh, this is racing simulating, just awesome, awesome, of course I have Richard Burns Rally and that's probably a better racing simulator, but um, gameplay wise, and just, it's, it's a good mix between uh, realism and gameplay, just totally, totally just one of the the best. Um, I've played this game a lot. I enjoyed every minute of it. Um, just highly, highly recommend this game. Just 
not hard to get into, just pure fun, pure fun. Not bad graphics for the time either. Another 2001 game here, Grand Theft Auto 3. Just, uh, the theme to this game and just the story and everything, um, very, very, just, of course, it's, it's Scarface, so, um, that's cool, but just a fun game, uh, I've really enjoyed it, I think it's, I actually don't think it's the best GTA game, but it's my favorite, I think the best was, once again, San Andreas, um, but this one, truly, truly. If you add San Andreas multiplayer um, for the PC, then I would go with that one over this one, but for just base game, there you go. And a brother three. Now, for any of my old subscribers who were around for a certain brotherhood, you'll re recognize this one immediately. This was actually my profile picture for the longest time, but... ESPN NFL 2K4. Best football game ever. I still stand by that. That is my true opinion. This is the best football game ever, in my opinion. Not the only thing that comes close to it is 2K5. Um, but there you have it right there. Warren Sapp undercover. Um, just totally, totally awesome game. Just 2003. Uh, play is just awesome. If you tweak the settings and stuff, and you can tweak the rosters and make them like they are now, just 2017, 16, 18 rosters, whatever. Um, I went back in time there for a second. Um, yeah, just once you tweak, if you, of course the base settings are good, but if you could tweak the settings in this game, uh, just perfect, just plays perfect, looks great. Um, just first person football, uh, the presentation of course is awesome. Uh, and Chris Berman, of course, so that's awesome. Um, the crib, uh, first person football, just, uh, of course, I'm a huge fan of the, uh, franchise mode, which is really, really cool, just best football game ever, it just feels good to play. Now, oh, go back to racing here, I don't have a case for it sadly, but ATV Off-Road Fury 2, awesome soundtrack, just gritty, just thrash, whatever you want to call it, just awesome game, just plays great, um, for the first person, and this is awesome too, but just absolutely love this game, this is game I've wasted many hours on, uh, just many nights drinking Mountain Dew, playing this game, just love it, just absolutely love this game, but, um, yeah, yeah, very cool game, uh, I think it's better than 3, even though 3 is also very cool. For Xbox, we got Halo 2, which here's my collector's edition, here's my regular, which this is my... End of Chaos War copy of Halo 2 right there, which is very cool. Um, to still have in my collection. I, of course, I have the original Platinum Hits, but very cool to still have this in my collection. Uh, and love the game. Of course, it does bring back the memories. And um, great single player. I think it's uh, about the single player in, in Halo 3 I might have liked better. I'm not sure. And of course, the first Halo had an excellent single player too. But multiplayer wise, just blows both Halo 3 and Halo Combat Evolved away, just excellent multiplayer, and BXR, and just don't, just try, you, there are ways to avoid it, and of course, just, huh, zombies, uh, the community game modes, playing Capture the Flag on Lockout, just too much fun, just really, really too much fun, um, highly recommended, if you can also, uh, you can get it for free on PC. I'd highly recommend buying it first so you're not pirating it, but um, get it on PC and try Project Cartographer to play it online. Then that that is some fun right there. That is some real fun right there. And you can play with a 360. I'm just going to try again. You can play with a 360 controller, so awesome. I'm barely making it through this video. So I'm going to take the camera now and show you guys some honorable mentions for this video. So there's my stack. Uh, games uh, down here you can't see it too well uh, there's Civilization 3 the regular and there's Play the World different editions of Half-Life and everything now I'll show you some honorable mentions in this video oh, oh man alright honorable mentions Gran Turismo 4 
Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, ATV Offroad or ATV Quad Power Racing 2, Lego Star Wars the Video Game, Doom 3 Limited Collector's Edition, uh, SOCOM 2. Um, Grand Theft Auto 4, Gears of War, Oblivion, Halo 3, Call of Duty 4, and Half-Life 2, which was over there, but I forgot to include it. So those are my honorable mentions for this video, and I guess I will catch you guys later. I hope you enjoyed my list. Comment yours below.